I remember one night I'm, I'm working late with these guys and we order a pizza. I give him a 20 to pay the guy, the delivery guy. And he calls back to me, how much tip do you want to leave? And I told him, keep the change. Which for a person who grew up the way that I did, you don't ever not count the change. We weren't in a movie, time didn't stop. There was no like crescendo. It was just, it was just like profoundly different inside of me that I was like, oh shit which is ultimately why I moved home, it, it, because I wanted to give more people that feeling, um, that feeling of like not having to count the change, um, changes everything. The idea behind Bitwise was just to use the technology industry to fix a city. That was where we began, that was seven years ago. Um, and we looked around and we studied other technology hubs and we said, this is how they're doing it. And so those were those those things became the three pillars of our business. We teach people to code, mostly folks who are coming out of a story of poverty, and then we create community around the technology industry by actually building, um, as you see here, uh, building things that you don't typically see in a place like Fresno. So you actually plant a flag in the ground and you rehab buildings and you stuff it full of technologists and you say this is where you come if you want to be good at this. If you want to be in the technology industry, you come here. And then the third part of our business is, is proof. It is building and shipping world-class software from underdog cities using underrepresented populations. I love Fresno, it's my home. The place Fresno is super challenging. I mean, one in four of our people live below the poverty line. Um, we're talking about a place that was built on agriculture, has always been built on agriculture. So to try to introduce something like technology is like, that is radical uh, in a place like this. When you try to plant a technology industry in a place like Fresno, you are dealing with one of America's most broken cities. And so you've got a lot to build in order to uh, make that true, in order to become a technology center of global importance. Um, you've got to sort of start at the very, very beginning. You've got to lift from all sides. I think that's what it kind of comes down to. If you don't lift from all sides, it's going to topple right over in one direction or the other. What is one thing that you Oh, dead wrong? They think that ta talent looks a very specific way, right? Like, there, there's no pipeline problem. The reason that we're not fixing the diversity problem in the technology industry is because we expect that talent to look like what we have always hired. Um, and if you disabuse yourself of that notion, suddenly the whole world becomes your talent pool. 